Hey guys, it's Miss Crystal and it's Wednesday, so we're gonna do some talking about books. Now, also it is Asian American Pacific Islander Month, which means we're gonna celebrate some Asian American Pacific Islander voices and characters. So I have two middle grade middle school books and then I've got two high school books coming right up. So let's get into it. This one is called Wave. It's about this girl, Ava, and she lives in, I'm gonna say Southern California, I feel like. Yeah, and she like loves to surf. She has a best friend, Phoenix, she's 13 years old. She has OCD, which she struggles with sometimes. And she is the daughter of a single mother and who's a doctor. And so this year she's starting to do like a little internship or community service hours in the hospital. Um, trying to like follow in the footsteps of her mom, but it's causing her a bit of stress because I'm pretty sure she doesn't want to do this. And then also um, her best friend Phoenix just relapsed basically and now it has her lymphoma back. And that is causing a lot of distress because she feels like Phoenix is like the only one who understands her and now she's sick and her future is undecided and it's like losing your best friend is terrible, you know? Um, especially at such a young age. So this book is interesting to me because it is in poetry. Oh, there's little pictures too, which I think is cool. But I always tell people when you're in a sort of reading slump, try poetry. It makes you feel good about yourself because you're moving really fast through it. Um, but also it's something to think about and you can read poetry over and over again, I feel like, and get something different every time. So I don't know. It's a, it's a nice, you know, even killed book. Okay. Arusha and the Nectar of Immortality. Now, I really don't have time to go through Arusha and everything that has been happening since book one. This is book five, and this is the last one. So if you're someone like me who likes to wait till a series is over um, to, to read it, to experience it, because you are impatient and don't wanna keep waiting on books, uh, now's the time. We're on book five where it's over with and now you can read the whole thing. <laughs> um, it's basically, I think this one is Aru. She, she's just going through a lot now. Like they're going to bring back some old characters to go through to the very end, the conclusion. And her sister has finally turned against her, Kara, and her crush kissed her on her birthday, but now he won't talk to her. His name's Aiden. And her mentor, who's a bird, has now turned into like a, like a, basically has been reborn as a chick and can't really advise her anymore. Um, so she's like kind of on her own. So it's just like a lot is going on for a Rue. I think if you were waiting to read it, now's the time and it'll be a hoot. Okay, next one. Sunny G's Series of Rash Decisions. So this one is about Sunny and he has like a, book a notebook and apparently he's trying to make all these like rash decisions because I don't know he wants to experience life more whatever and I'm really I, I'm confused about these like teenagers making these bucket lists like really <laughs> but yeah so he's trying to do like terrible things I guess um and he in the process it feels like he's kind of changing too fast and not really doing what he wants but doing what he expects that he's supposed to want to do confusing I know um, but he goes to prom against his, you know, what he really wants to do. He goes to prom because he feels like that's an experience that he has to do. And he meets this girl, Mandy, Mandy, Mindy. And she is, I'm going to say she's like a pixie dream girl vibe. So she's always making rash decisions of her own. And she takes him on this like wild ride prom night adventure. And, um, it's just about that. Yeah. Have some fun. Okay only a monster i am so excited for this one actually um i love my fantasy and this one is about joan she's 16 she's gone off to stay with her mom's family for the summer and they live in london and they're a bit off kilter they're a bit weird and then she finds oh she meets this kid nick and she like immediately has a crush on him but she finds out that like her family is not only weird they are monsters and nick is not just her crush, he's a monster hunter. And like, she's gotta like save them and like try to keep Nick from figuring out that she's a monster and like come to terms with the fact that like she's a monster herself and like, it's just crazy out here. So I don't know, I just think it's really fun and I I love a good anti-hero fantasy story. So yeah. Okay, that is all I've got 
for right now and uh, hopefully you are celebrating AAPI Heritage Month in your own way and you're finding your some ways to celebrate some cool voices in the process and uh, hopefully you saw something that you liked. See ya!